Hey guys, on to today's tutorial, we're going to teach you how to update to the latest iOS 11.3. Now, if you're just thinking about iOS 11, all right, you're going to go right now exactly to 11.3. And um, don't worry about it. It's really easy. I'm going to show you two ways. So first of all, you guys should see it. If you go to settings, if you guys scroll all the way down to general, under general, you guys will see the second option, software update. Under software update, this option should pop up. Okay, so you should check for your update and it should give you this iOS 11.3. All right, it's download install. It's almost a gig. So have a lot of space on your iPhone. Okay, um, anyways, for your iPhones, iPads, iPod touches, they all work better if you guys have some space left over. So don't just always be running out of space. Okay, don't just leave one gig a space always leave at least two, three gigs of space. All right, even then that's pretty tight. I would always suggest more than that, but I would guess that's the minimum, all right? So uh, from here, you guys will tap on download and install. I'm not gonna do that at this point because I'm gonna show you the second option. So um, just to let you know what the process is, once I tap on download and install, so make sure to have at least 50% of your battery for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, all right? And make sure just to connect your iPhone, iPad or touch to some electricity. That way it won't die once it's installing. The download and install procedure will probably take around 10 to 20 minutes. All right. I'm saying probably because it's not an exact um, timing for everybody. It depends on your download speed. Um, yeah, it all depends on your internet, really how long this will take to download, but it is a gig. So for most cases, you're looking at about 10 to 20 minutes. All right, for download and installing the update. The update is pretty big, but you guys won't see any big changes right away, okay? You guys will have to dig in just a little bit and you guys will see the minor changes that you guys will notice with these improvements. Anyways, the second way to update your iPhone iPad Touch, if you guys don't see it, just go into iTunes. iTunes is a program that's free for both Mac and PC. So if you have Windows, this will work. Let's just go right into iTunes. Under iTunes, we should see the update popping up once it detects our iPhone. So it detects our iPhone. How do I know it detected my iPhone besides this popping up? Is that I see this tiny icon right here in the top left hand side. I see a tiny icon of an iPhone. You guys might see an iPad if you're doing an iPad or an iPod Touch if you guys are doing an iPod Touch. Um, from here, you guys can just put download and update or just download. All right. So at this point, what I'm going to do is click on download only. And that's because I want to back up my iPhone. So I'm going to click. All right. So it's going to take a little bit. Uh, then you just go next. Agree. Yeah. Let's just go right here. Okay. Right here. What I want to do is make a backup. Now, most of you have those five gigs that are free, right? And you're probably going to have noticed once these updates keep coming, um, you're running out of, out of space right away. Even if you guys are not even backing up your photos on iCloud, you're running out of space. And um, I do have a video showing you guys how to free up some space, start from zero, but that doesn't even work nowadays. Even if you turn off all your apps or most of your apps that you don't need an update on iCloud, um, you're still running out of space. So this is the fix for it. The fix for it would be to back it up on your computer since your computer has a bunch of gigs, right? So instead of using iCloud right now, I'm going to turn this to my computer. And don't worry, once you guys change it to your computer and you guys sync everything to your computer, you have that backup on your computer. And then after you guys can just go back to your iPhone and turn on iCloud backup and you guys can make a secondary backup there. And it's good to do this before you guys install any, any updates. All right. So, uh, I'm just going to do this on my computer right now. I'm going to click on apply done. Let me just go back to it. I'm going to go into backup now. Once I click on backup now, it's going to back up my whole iPhone onto my computer which is exactly what I want, all right? Because I have no more space on iCloud. I'm not gonna pay a penny monthly to Apple so they can back up my phone because I know I'm gonna run out of space right away. And that's happened to a ton of people right now. They make that upgrade, they think, oh, 50 gigs is gonna be a lot. 
and the next day they might notice that it's up that's it they have no more space so they have to pay more and um that's because their backups are getting bigger and bigger um like i said i don't back up any of my photos any of my videos um i only back up a few selected apps on icloud and yet i don't have more space five gigs are up so this is the solution around there just back it up in your computer luckily apple still lets you do that hopefully they will not take this away um, so I'm gonna back this up once that backup is done I'm gonna go back to update so right up here you guys will see update so right now it's downloading the update plus making this backup once the updates done it's just gonna install so just have it hooked up and you're pretty much done anyways if you guys still don't see something popping up even on iTunes maybe iTunes telling you that your iPhone iPod touch is up to date already and there's no more updates well you guys can go to Apple website and look at this or just look at this video and read if your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch is on the list. Now this is the list of all iPhone, iPad or iPod Touches that are compatible with iOS 11. If you don't see it here, it's not compatible. For example, iPad mini 1, it's not on the list so you guys cannot update to iOS 11. iPad 2, which is pretty old now. That's actually stuck in iOS 9. You guys can't even update to iOS 10. Sorry about that. And especially the first generation, which was my favorite iPad until the iPad Pro came out. Um, that one's actually stuck in iOS 5. Really, really old. Um, things such as iPhone 5. It's not on the list. Therefore, you guys cannot update to iOS 11. So I'm not going to go through a list telling you which iPads and older generations you guys can't update. Right now, if you guys do not see it on this list, on this screen, right now, you guys cannot update it to iOS 11. Sorry about that. Even if you guys jailbreak and do all this other stuff, you guys still won't be able to update to iOS 11. However, um, I do recommend jailbreaking, actually. Jailbreaking is really fun. You guys will get a bunch of stuff that even iOS 11 or even iOS 12 will not have yet. I, uh, jailbreaking just opens up your phones to whole new things there were a bunch of things that were available if you jailbreak your iPhone um, back in 2005 and right now they're available in 2017 so it's yeah yeah it's pretty advanced but you have to know a little bit of what you know doing just do a little bit of research and you guys will see how to do that um, anyways that's it for this video if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here really in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.